Will Polly have the same energy when Namor or Namor has his own solo film? Well, <sighs> Muck Muck, the general, there's been some uh, some news about that, and I, I want to share it with you because um, as of today, right now, reporting. Disney is legally blocked from making Neymar movie after Black Panther 2. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, um, Marvel Studios revealed it is blocked from making a solo movie entered on Tenoch Huerta's Neymar. Uh, Huerta's uh, MCU villain has quickly picked up steam as one of the fans' favorites. I, I cannot deny that, and a lot of people are, are seeing are, are, are come, going to see that movie. Um, it seems it's a tangled web of rights management affected how Wakanda Forever could be marketed before release and the potential for a standalone movie centered on the character. Yeah, for a while, he was missing from the marketing machine. So why exactly aren't they going to release a, a film with him or any more? Well, here is what Nate, Nate the producer, uh, Nate Moore, said. It's a complicated rights situation that they legally there's so many legal things there's so many things they could or can't do right the character appeared in only only a few times in lead up to the film on his own they were part of a collection of character posters like you couldn't even promote him by himself until later i i, I feel like that's i i feel like that's not that's not going to be a problem because they always figure out a way, especially since they make so much money out of this. They made so much money out of Black Panther 2. Do you really think it's going to stop them? They don't see color if the color is gray. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? And No, no, sure. And it sure, always happens it is, like it is that. A, the, We're talking about a legal... See, we're, we're talking about a legal issue, which is why you don't... Yeah. You, you had Legalities, all that whole, stuff. It's, you know, right. it's all money talks, so... Right, they'll make a deal. I know what you're saying. They're like, I think they're going to make a deal, too, because the Namor steam is picking up. Yeah. Namor says, it honestly affects us more, and not to talk too much out of school, but how we market the film, that then um, how we use him in the film. So is it like somebody who came up with the character from years back and they've never really got the release on it to do it by themselves? Something okay, like that? So let me see. Is is if somebody's gonna get paid? Um, uh, yeah. yeah. Clobbering times. If clobbering times, if you're still in the chat, let me know. But this is not e e exclusive to Namor. Okay. What happened? I'm gonna give you guys like a little do a wrap, do it really badly as far as a wrap up like a recap uh, okay. marvel comics sold their movie rights to different characters to different studios in the 80s and 90s that's why spider-man was sony that's why the x-men weren't were you know everyone like everyone they were all it was a mess because stan lee and them needed feria yeah. that's what it was and you're still getting that you were still seeing the effects of that like, yeah. how come the X-Men aren't in this? Or how come, you know... Uh, Fantastic Four. Thank you. Thank you. So, that is what... that. And so, you asked me earlier about a, about a, about a Namor film. I would say, yeah, if they could, they would probably greenlight it already. But legally, they probably can't. And then it would make a killing. If that, if that movie was out there in a summer blockbuster, it would make a killing. Well, let me tell you guys right now. I think the biggest problem with the film Wakanda is that they showed too much of Talokan and Namor. They should have kept him more of a mystery and had all that for his own film. Like we did with Black Panther Civil War and then boom, the Black Panther solo movie was perfect way to in introduce a new character. Right. They, they showed way too much in this film. Oh. But they probably liked it. That's why they, they, they kept filming the notch all the way up until July. Because they're like, we're loving this. Yeah. They probably wanted. They probably. They probably said, we can do more. We can do more. We'll worry about the legal. Well, they probably also said, well, we can't get everything out there right now because of the legal. So we'll try to release as much as we can on the Black Panther series. <clears throat> Let's bring in a uh, Clarbon Times uh, to talk about this legal matters. He <clears throat> got his own channel. He he uh, ran a comic book store. I think uh, he sleeps on a rack of comic books. Clarbon Times. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, oh, yeah. that's what. That's, so that's why my <laughs> oh, that's buddy. where the inventory went. Can you, you hear me? Can, can you can you explain this kerfuffle about the uh, Namor and Universal still owning the rights to Namor? Well, you pretty much, you know, it's pretty simple stuff. I mean, obviously, as far as just explaining it, you've pretty much handled it. But um, I, okay. Uh, firstly, in the late seventies. Uh, Marvel started doing stupid deals like that with Hollywood. As you know, they started to have some TV shows like The Incredible Hulk and actually the Spider-Man TV show that wasn't quite as successful mm. and a couple of TV movies like the Captain America one or Doctor Strange when that kind of stuff. And um, and then later they did a Howard a Duck movie. You know, so they, kept, they were selling these rights piecemeal depending upon the character and pieces. They had cartoons. Uh, it was very complicated. And uh, then... In the late 80s to the early 90s, I think Revlon bought them out or whatever, that idiot Ron Perlman or whatever, and started running them into the ground. They were already in trouble. And eventually, they did it again, and they did it worse. They So, yes, they're, they're in pieces all over the place. Universal um, has, I think, Namor and the Hulk, and maybe Silver Surfer, if I remember right now. Um, uh, no, not Silver Surfer anymore. So it's all over the place. Who has what now? I can't even remember all of them, but I do know it's universal with Namor and the Hulk. So, however, just recently, as you know, they got they they started getting some of them back here and there, or at least making some deals to be able to use them. Right now, they still, as far as I know, can't do a movie <clears throat> without making a special deal of the Hulk, for example, or of Namor. And then you notice in the film, they don't call him the Submariner. They don't. They don't. And they don't, they don't. Even use it. And his Imperious Rex is in uh, an indigenous language. Is, when he yeah, says right. It. yeah, right. Yeah, was it in English? Right, exactly. So, so you can't even yeah, say it's that. A, it's a mess. That's right. That's right. Kidding. I mean, I, I guess, I don't know. I guess they could probably. I, I, I just, that I'm not sure. I don't know if this, there's any legal reason why they couldn't do that or not. Or if Kugler was just being pretentious. I don't know. Well, um, I'm not sure. Dude, fan <laughs> fantastic uh, take on this. Uh, yeah. As far as why we haven't heard of a Namor movie being greenlit, this makes sense. Why? That they're still trying to work it out with Universal clobbering times. Yes. Oh, well, look, if they um, they can, they can get it done, obviously, because, you know, they, they'll, they can make a deal and, and do it. Remember, they even did that. Although, you know, the Incredible Hulk from 2009 I mean, 2008 or whatever it was. That's still um, not completely owned by Disney, even though it's considered in the MCU. Wow! And you, and you so, thought Latinos were were messed up too? <laughs> <laughs> well, Marvel Comics is the whole comic book industry has been messed up for, forever. So, yeah. But you you pretty much you you explained it, but just as well as I did. But you did great. Well, I want to thank you for for jumping on. I'm gonna let Glad you to do go. it, man. Uh, Thank check you, buddy. Out Clobber, check out Clobber Times' channel uh, and his insight on not just MCU, but DC, all comics. Well, thank you, buddy. Uh, America Cholo, an almighty blessing. Good to meet you guys. You take care, man. You're doing thank a great, you great show. Later, my friends. That was dope.